Washington's headquarters at Valley Forge opened as a museum in 1878. The idea of the people that opened it were that the building would represent, you know, all the men and women who served at Valley Forge, would represent Washington. The other thing about that building that's really kind of neat is that it's the very same building that was here. It's, it changed very little, so it's a nice piece of architecture. It also does what it's supposed to do in the sense that it really does represent the encampment. It's something that people can walk in, and it's actually the building that was, that was there in, in 1778. So it's kind of good in that way. I and mean, when you go inside, although it doesn't have one stick of furniture in there now that was in here then, in there then, that is the same building that General Washington rented that all those soldiers came into for meetings. The idea behind the people that opened it was that you could go into that building, contemplate what went on there, wonder at all the work that people did. And of course, they, at least then, really appreciated what Washington tried to do and how well he succeeded. You know, as a piece of architecture, it is really a good building. The stonework uh, is laid on nicely, ranges, courses, vertical accenting, brick accenting. It really is a nice piece of architecture. Uh, if I were driving down the road somewhere and I saw that one along the street, I'd be, whoa, gotta stop and look at that. So, re really, really a neat building in those senses.